everybody for coming out. All the parents, students, friends, family, visitors, all of you guys. Um, Black belt, you guys up here. Um, this is a huge occasion for us. Um, this is our three year anniversary. It's officially on the first, but we're gonna be competing on the first, so had to do it a little bit early. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for coming out. It's been a really long, tough road to get here. We moved into this spot, that one over there, the small spot, the red mats, um, three years ago. And it was just that one spot, half jujitsu, half powerlifting. And uh, a year and a half ago, we expanded over here, knocked the wall down, and it was a great decision because school's been blossoming and growing ever since. Our kids' program is doing great. Um, adults are doing great, everyone's awesome. Um, I wanted to make a, not a speech, but like I wanted to talk a little bit about the history of the school and all that, but I'm just gonna cut it short because I know everyone wants to get back to the rolling. We're already behind schedule by like 20 minutes, so uh, I'm gonna cut the, uh, that stuff out and kind of just get right to it. So I have a couple of promotions to do today, just three. Kind of surprised some of the promotions, some of them are. Um, it's Coach's Day. Um, so first off, uh, where's Jay Isaiah Cruz? Come up here, Jay. Come join us up here. Jay has been essential in our kids' program. Um, his two kids and his wife have all trained with us. Um, but Jay's been one of our best coaches. He's awesome, amazing with the little guys, amazing with all the students. Helps out so much with our classes. Um, he's been ready for a blue belt for a long time. Um, just, you know, life catches up to you and you can't train as much as you can and stuff like that. But he's been consistent and uh, he's definitely got the skills. So if you guys roll with this guy, you'll find out. He'll get under you. And, all of a sudden, you're fighting for your life not to get your back taken. So, good job, Jay. Right. You definitely earned it, man. This is A1. <laughs> Holy crap. I'll get you another belt. This is way too long. <laughs> no, the kids oh, you're, you're just way too small, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you though, he's like a little spider monkey, so watch yourself. Thanks, buddy. Alright, next up. Uh, this student of ours has been one of our core students for the longest time. Um, probably, besides me and Michelle, probably the most important person in the gym um, as far as the programs go. Um, helps out more than we ever ask of him. Always helping with everything we need to do. Any question we have, any, like anything. It could be the smallest thing in the world we ask him to do and he always jumps up and does it every time. Um, let's see, Jose? Come on up here. Jose's been training a long time with us. He's our Muay Thai coach. He has made the Muay Thai coach, our Muay Thai program just blossom over the past couple of years. Um, he's amazing at jiu-jitsu, he's super fast. Another just ridiculously fast guy who will be all over you before you know it. So watch out for him too. But um, seriously, I can't thank you enough for all you do for us. You're amazing, so let's do this, get right to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, well, the next one's not a surprise to anybody in this room. So, uh, how long ago was it? 13 years ago I started jujitsu with Dave? Yeah. Um, it's been a long journey. Your white belt for, what, six years? No, white belt for four years, three years. Two and a half years. Blue belt for six years, sorry. Blue belt for six I'm a little nervous up here. This is crazy. I'm trying not to cry. Blue belt for six years. Longest blue belt I've ever known. But uh, amazing competitor. She's been, oh, well, except for Logan over there. And Andrew, that's right. You guys are probably working on 10 years now. Good job, guys. Congrats. Uh, no, but she's been competing longer than I've been even training and winning for longer than I've been training. Um, inspiration to women all over this area. You affect more people than you could possibly imagine. So, come up, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle runs all the kids' programs. She runs all the day-to-day -day operations. She runs the finances. She runs the business. She runs everything about this gym. All I do is teach classes, like <laughs> seriously, and clean the mat sometimes. So there's nothing, this gym wouldn't exist without Michelle in every single possible way. She's always been the rock and the glue binding this place together. So first female black belt in Big Brothers. So, ready? <laughs> Look at her toenails too. <laughs> yeah, she and my up. Finger. Fingernails. Like I said, no surprise here. <laughs> What's that? I'm not making a speech because I will be sobbing up here. I can't let any of you see me cry, so. She has all black toe except one. One is red. It's a little uneven. We'll fix it. Good? Michelle doesn't want to say anything because she's not going to be able to hold it together and neither will I. Does anybody else have anything they'd like to say? Bella? Yeah, I would like to congratulate Michelle as uh, Bill said. Uh, she's been doing really good, really good like on competitions. He's really, uh, she's really an uh, inspiration for all the females on this area. Uh, as you said, like she was long on a blue belt sometimes because she was so long and it was a burden on top of her, the pressure to win, maybe that's why she wasn't performing. And after that, Bill is also doing a good job in supporting and, and handling really well the program here at the school. And I'm pretty sure he can reach any of you guys to the top level of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So she's been doing great on competition and going toe to toe with anyone there. And she's probably gonna do great now as a black belt. So we are very proud as a big brother to have you on the line here with us and see all the dedication and hard work that you put towards your your goal. And now your goal came out, you come through, so congratulations. Thank all you. Right?
Anyways, yeah, I would like to start off by saying how lucky you are to have me. I, I'm sorry, I'm oh, waiting for you. <laughs> no, it's, it's been an amazing adventure. I've known her since she was a white belt. I can't express to you how proud I am, uh, like a sister to me, and I feel like a lot of the other guys here too. Uh, I can understand why Bill doesn't want to say anything because I'm already getting a little teary-eyed. Um, so I can only imagine the things that he has to say to you. But anyways, you've been an inspiration to everyone and an amazing athlete and even just an amazing person. And I feel like in jiu-jitsu sometimes we forget that we talk so much about the, the athletics and, and, and you know the promotion and worrying about belts and, and we forget about the individual. But you have been a, an, an inspiring individual and I think we can all appreciate that. So I too have known Michelle for quite a while now. We've been in the area now for 12 years. And I've gotten to train with Michelle, had some conversations about the hopes and dreams that Michelle has had. And I've gotten to see her pull this vision together. And I have to tell you, I also am extremely proud of you. It has been a sheer force of will and determination and perseverance to create this vision, this amazing school, to create the caliber of competitors, to touch all the people that you have. I know I could speak for my daughters and I'm sure I could speak for many of the children here as to how, how high in the esteem that they hold you. You're an amazing person. Thank you for doing all of this. Good job. Then jiu-jitsu was smaller in this area compared to what it was on the West Coast. So a lot of the people were pioneering what's happening in this area in jiu-jitsu. And it's cool to be a part of somebody who's pioneering or people who are pioneering things. It's easy to walk into a big school. It's easy to be on the West Coast where it's as, as popular as waking up and brushing your teeth. And so for you kids to have a, a leader, an instructor, who's a pioneer in this area, setting a pathway and a guide for you guys to follow, especially you girls and young women and women getting into jiu-jitsu. To have that knowledge so close to utilize, is, you're very fortunate. Take advantage of that. You know, it's, it's a wealth of, of experience, a wealth of doing it against the, the current. And, and it's gonna be easier for each person, especially in this affiliation and in this school, for, for people and women and young young people to follow that, that path. She's laid out a map for you. And so don't, uh, don't look lightly on that opportunity. Okay? Yes. I think it's been said mostly like, clearly uh, Michelle's an inspiration for us all. Clearly she's leading the way for women in jiu-jitsu in this uh, DC metro area uh, but like Bill said about uh, his student Michelle will is also one of the most giving people in the Big Brothers program on their Bill's tutelage like if staff or BJJ is having an event Michelle and Bill will be there she comes over to our school to help out whenever she can we're starting a woman's uh, only program and Michelle has volunteered to help this program so as much as a pioneer she is, she's just as willing to give of her knowledge, of her time, and of her, uh, you know, just give to the Big Brother program. So uh, we're very fortunate to have Michelle on the program. Congratulations. But you know, we like to, I like to give gifts, so this is from all the big brothers, okay. leaders. Yeah, uh, and the inscription on there says, First Lady, since you're the First Lady of Big Brothers. <laughs> All right.
I, again, thank you everybody for coming and all of your support over the years. And uh, like I said, we wouldn't be here without you guys. Uh, you guys make the community, you guys make the team. We have the best atmosphere in Big Brothers and in my opinion in the school. But uh, no, seriously, like it's, it's been a great journey and all of you like, are a part of it. Even the parents, like people that don't even train, all of you had something to do with inspiring or helping somebody that is here and you've all been a part of each other's lives and now you're a part of our lives and it's, it's awesome. We really appreciate every single one of you guys. So thanks again for coming.